The briefest of reprieves, I assure you. Ha! There are so many updates on the upcoming Brave and the Bold. Some are like, should Batman Brave and the Bold feature more than one Robin? On the other hand, there are casting rumors from Screen Rant suggesting that Glenn Powell's acting talents could make casting him as Hush even better than casting him as Batman. But the big question remains, who will be Batman for the new Brave and the Bold? Well, it might be Jensen Ackles, as he has proven to be an excellent choice for the DCU's Batman. Personally, I need this casting to happen. That said, we can all agree on how talented Ackles has been lately, especially with the announcement of a new The Boys prequel series titled Vote Rising, which is currently in the works. Would you like us to do a video on this? If so, share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's dive into everything we know so far about Brave and the Bold. Sorry. Batman the Brave and the Bold is set to bring in Damian Wayne as Robin, which means the other three Robins, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake, are likely already part of the DC Universe. That's super exciting, because it opens the door for cameos or even mentions of Dick as Nightwing, Jason as Red Hood, and Tim as Robin, which could lead to their own spin-offs later on. But here's the thing, if they try to pack too much into one movie, it could backfire and leave fans feeling let down if it's not done right. At the same time, the new Superman movie is already going big with a huge cast, some of whom are expected to set up future stories, it's tricky. They've got to nail the balance. Done well, it could build an incredible connected universe, but if they mess it up, it might push fans away. What do you think? Should they go all in or keep it simple? I'm pretty confident there's a much better role for Glenn Powell in the DCU than Batman. Right now, the new DC universe is on the lookout for a new Dark Knight for Batman the Brave and the Bold, but honestly, I think Powell would be much more interesting fit for a role that's still connected to Batman, Thomas Elliot, aka Hush. While Powell's been a popular fan cast for Batman lately, there's just so much more potential for him in this classic Batman villain role. We already know Robert Pattinson's Batman exists in a different part of the DC Universe, one that doesn't tie into the upcoming interconnected stories, starting with Creature Commandos and Superman in 2025, starring David Korenswet. But the DCU still needs its own Batman, who can interact with Superman and the other heroes. That's where I think Glenn Powell could shine as Hush. For those who don't know, Hush was a childhood friend of Bruce Wayne who became insanely jealous of Bruce's life after his parents died. He's got a pretty dark backstory, including trying to kill his own parents to inherit their fortune. He became a neurosurgeon and secretly hated Bruce, eventually teaming up with the Riddler to torment Batman. One of the wildest things Hush did was get plastic surgery to make his face look identical to Bruce's, making him the twisted version of the man Batman could have been. Glenn Powell could really nail this role. In Hitman, Powell's character uses different disguises, showing he's got the range to play someone like Hush, who needs to hide his identity while still being a master manipulator. Plus, Powell's got that charm from his rom-com roles, which would make his disguise as Bruce Wayne totally believable. Now, I'm not saying Powell couldn't be a great Batman, he'd definitely be good, but I think he'd be even more captivating as a villain. It's a unique role that could make the character feel fresh and bring some exciting energy to the DCU. Plus, with the Batman trilogy hinting at the arrival of Hush in its future, Powell could even join that world. Hush is an underrated villain, and while he hasn't had much screen time, he's been a real thorn in Batman's side in the comics. He's smart, strategic, and has used his knowledge as a neurosurgeon to mess with Batman in a way no other villain has. Having someone like Glenn Powell in the role would bring Hush to life in a way we've never seen before, and I think it would be a fantastic addition to the DCU. On the other hand, one casting choice that even Screen Rant agrees on is Jensen Ackles as the new Batman in James Gunn's DC Universe, and I'm totally on board with this. Ackles has proven himself time and again in his career, and I believe he's the perfect fit for the role. The last actor to play Batman in the DCEU was Ben Affleck, but he, along with the rest of the Justice League cast, is reportedly out for the new DCU. While I liked Affleck's portrayal, I'm fine with the decision to go in a new direction. 
After all, Affleck was never meant to be the main Batman in the DCEU anyway. Michael Keaton was initially set to take over as the older Batman in 2023's The Flash, but at 73, I think he's too old to lead a new cinematic universe. With Robert Pattinson's Batman staying separate from the DCU, it's clear the upcoming Batman the Brave and the Bold movie needs a new Dark Knight. Enter Jensen Ackles, who is more than ready to step into the role. He has the perfect mix of qualities that would make him a great Bruce Wayne and Batman for the DCU. Ackles' most famous role is as Dean Winchester in Supernatural, where he spent 15 seasons battling darkness, violence, and pain, elements that are deeply tied to Batman's character. Like Bruce Wayne, Dean faced a tragic childhood loss that set him on a dark path. Ackles did an excellent job portraying the brooding yet charismatic Dean, which gives me confidence that he can bring a similar depth and complexity to Batman. Plus, Ackles' upcoming return as Soldier Boy in The Boys proves he can handle action sequences and complex characters with charisma and intensity. But Ackles' talents don't stop at live action. He's already voiced Batman in the DC animated Tomorrowverse movies like Batman The Long Halloween, where his portrayal really showcased Batman's detective skills and emotional depth. His animated work shows he can bring a level of nuance to the character that I'd love to see in the live-action DCU. With the DCU's upcoming The Brave and the Bold movie bringing in multiple members of the Bat family, it makes sense to cast an older, more seasoned Batman. Ackles, at 46, is the right age to take on this role and lead a larger Bat family alongside characters like Damian Wayne. At this age, he can believably portray a Bruce Wayne who's been through a lot and is ready to mentor the next generation of heroes. Ackles has expressed his desire to play Batman, even saying, I would love it, sign me up. He's also shown his enthusiasm for the role by dressing up as Batman for cosplay and almost taking the role in Gotham Knights. Given his passion, past performances, and the fan support, I believe Ackles is the ideal candidate for the DCU's Batman. The casting process hasn't started yet, but I'm hopeful that when it does, Ackles will get the chance to audition and possibly take on the role. And that's all we know about upcoming movie. Thanks for watching, and if something more comes out, then you know it. We will keep you updated, and so if you just give us a thumbs up to my channel and give us a thumbs up, we will appreciate that much more, and we will see you in next one.